Hey everyone, Matt here. So in this video, I'm going to go over the basics of how you can implement a data importing system for your AppSheet app. So at some point in your app's lifecycle, you're going to have your user come to you and they're going to say, hey, I've got a bunch of data in a Google Sheet and an Excel file. We want to just copy that into the database. And largely that's fine. It's when you start getting into things like child related tables and other dependencies and things of this nature, uh, app formulas that take other data and they combine those into something else. When a user's entering like a CSV file, they're not gonna know how to create those things and trying to communicate those really technical details like that is fraught with pitfalls. So thankfully, I've created a step-by-step -step guide that you can use that will guide you through how to implement this sort of system a lot easier. Let's get to it. So, the first thing that I've done is I've created a, a guide that will walk you through all of the things that you need to do uh, to implement this data importing system in your app. Um, it's really complex, there's a lot to it. I'm actually not gonna go over all of this in this video. There is a link to this file down in the description. Uh, you can view it all there, take it at your, at your leisure. So there's really three parts to this uh, system. There's this step-by-step -step guide that's gonna walk you through what you need to do. Um, and then with this, because um, when, I, when I was implementing this, I really kind of thought to myself, you know, I need a place where users can accomplish all of this. You know what I mean? There, there has to be a place inside the app where a user goes to do all of the data importing. So that means that we're gonna need some kind of table or something to hold all of that information. So I created a template table that has all of this stuff already done for you. All you have to do is add it to your app. So there's two of them. There's a parent level, which is called import main screen. And it contains a few things inside here, just kind of give you some uh, fields where you can change the background if you want. There's a, a field to enter some specific data. If I show you what this looks like in the app, if I go here and I show you this import data section, so this is the final result. So I've got a card here for each of the tables that I wanna allow people to import data into. And then I have this little how-to section. And so this is that importing main uh, table. Uh, what was it called? I can't remember importing main screen. Uh, this is that screen that you're seeing here. So it's got this little, it's got a background image. It's got a field for you to enter this sort of data. It's got another field for you to enter this sort of data. Now I've already hard coded these so that all you have to do is when you add this table to your app, you just come inside here and create a record for this table and it sets all of this stuff for you and you can just move on. If you want to come in here and change this, more than welcome to. I'm just trying to get through it faster, you know what I mean? So this is the main table and it really just kind of serves as like a, a main window that we can that we can further present this child related information. So what this is, this is the second part. This is the data importing table. And so this is a child to the import main screen parent. And what this allows you to do is it gives you space where you can say, this is the name of the table. These are the required columns. These are some required instructions that you need to do. Keep going here. This is, here's a link to a place where you can get more information. Here is a link to a video that explains how to do this. Then you can upload a space, there's a space to upload the CSV that they need to use when importing, because you have to give them the template to start with. So this is where you can upload that CSV template. Um, and then there's, you know, obviously a, a, a reference link to get it back to the, uh, to the parent. So when you view that inside the app, this is what you get is you have this little main window here, the main screen, and you have 
all of these child related tables and so you can click on these and they give you all of the information for that table if I go to something that has a lot of dependent stuff like this one you can see all of these fields must have data in them and then there's all of this how to data like this field must have at least one of the following and then there's a list of values and those are you pulled from another place um, and so and then there's this CSV that they can download when they click on it and so all of that is presented inside that second child level table here's that CSV um, and you need a place in order to display all of that to your user and so that's what those two tables serve as um, and they they give you everything that you need to create this little how to import box and then the actual protocol that I have for doing everything with getting all of those cards available so where they don't show data and there's an action so that they can press it and upload the file and everything works all of that's detailed inside this um, this protocol guide here um, yeah that's it um, let me know if you have any questions this is the first of many protocol guides that I'm gonna put out um, if you enjoy stuff like this maybe give this video a like and a thumbs up if you really want to support what I'm doing with this I have a patreon page uh, they get these released to them sooner than other people um, there's also some very specific uh, I have a, a, a specific Google folder that has a whole bunch of content and stuff inside there for them template tables and specific guides on how to do some really advanced stuff it's all in there and it's only 10 bucks a month anyways thanks for watching everybody See you in the community.